Happy Sunday. The Super Bowl is officially over. Tom Brady has done it again. Bucks easily beat the Chiefs, and I just wanted to do a quick recap. You know, when Mike and I started this podcast, one thing I mentioned to him is we got to do recap shows after big events like the Super Bowl, maybe WrestleMania, but we need to be live quick and we need to get content out there. So after the Super Bowl, I texted him, but he ghosted me. Either way, that's not going to stop me. I'm here for a few minutes. Just wanted to do a recap. Now, a lot of people were picking the Chiefs, and that really pissed me off. If you listened and watched our first podcast, I specifically said that the Bucks would win. And another segment we did is I asked Mike, I was like, if you were a Chiefs fan, how would you feel if you're going up against the Bucks defensive line if you were the O line? And the point I was trying to make is the Chiefs already had a bad line, plus they're losing some key, they lost some key players on that line before the Super Bowl. And then before the, I mean, during the NFC Championship, the Bucks wreak havoc on the Packers. So I was confident that would happen again, and it sure did. Mahomes, from what I could tell, and before I can, before I get into it, just FYI, I haven't watched the Super Bowl for the last 10 years. I follow it on Twitter and I follow the stats, and that's because I think a lot of these Super Bowls are predictable. And I feel like a lot of times the NFL wants certain matchups, and those matchups happen. So I'm not going to waste my time watching something that I know is going to end up the way I think it's going to end up. So the last several weeks, you know, I've been, or actually during this whole season, I was telling one of my friends, Bucks are going to win. Bucks are going to win. It's just what's going to happen. And they sure did. You know, I don't like Brady. I never liked him when he was in the past, but I always thought he was the best. And it's true. He's the best athlete in all the sports. You know, people give Jordan credit. People give other people credit. But Brady, with minimal talent, helped the Pats become a powerhouse. And I strongly believe it's not because of Bill Belichick, it's because of Brady. He carried that team, and again tonight, he did a fantastic job. The stats show it. The other thing that questions me is, why did the Chiefs not blitz him that much? They brought very little pressure. You know why? Andy Reid is not a good coach. Hey Gato, my cat trying to get up in here, but he needs to know I'm recording. Yeah, Andy Reid, he's 0-2 against Brady in the Super Bowl. I was telling friends last year when he finally won the big one, he should have retired. He should have retired. He should have given the reins to Eric. He did not. He's selfish. And again, today he was outmatched by um, you know, by Brady. And I'm sure you can give a lot of the... Um, who's texting me? Mike is actually texting me. Let's see what is he saying. He's saying congrats because I predict a few things. Actually, no, he's congratulating me on beating a game. But anyway, let's go back to the topic. You know, people will blame, will blame the defensive coordinator, but really it's Andy Reid's team. And, you know, he did it with McNabb, he did it with the Eagles. He's not that great when it comes to big games. You know, he's choked a lot in big games. Last year was the first one he actually came through. And that's not because of him, it's because the Niners choked. And the Niners were not a strong team going into that Super Bowl. They got off to a quick start, but, you know, the Chiefs were able to come back and win that game. But again, Brady is the best, you know, congrats to this whole team. Congrats to A.V., former Steeler player, who I think, and I hope one of the people will recognize this, I think he's the greatest NFL receiver of all time. And if you don't believe me, look at his stats. Calvin Johnson just made it to the Hall of Fame yesterday, right? Compare his stats with um, A.B. They virtually played about the same snaps, same amount of years, and their stats are identical. And AB's not done yet. I know he's had some setbacks due to, her, due to personal issues. But if he stayed with the Steelers and continued to play with Ben, I promise you when he finished his career, he would have had some of the best stats ever. Maybe the best if he had that longevity. Now, people will say Rice because Rice played so many damn years. And he accumulated stats at the end of the day. But if you look at what AB does every single day, every single game, he just produces. His footwork is amazing. He's just top notch, you know. But again, big congrats to the entire um, box organization. And I didn't even know this, but there—I mean, I knew there were a few. But a lot of that team is made up of former Steeler players that won a Super Bowl, I think, 15 years ago. You got Randall L, who threw that amazing touchdown pass. You got Larry Foot from Michigan, one of my favorites as well, linebacker. Byron Leftwich, who also won a Super Bowl with the Steelers that many don't remember. But, you know, you got, you got some good Steelers players and coaches that are on that coaching staff. 
And all the credit to Bruce, you know, Bruce retired as a Steeler. The only thing the Steelers forced him to retire. He's won two um, Coach of the Years. One of those years, he never won one game because he was technically the assistant coach that took over. But um, still, he won, you know, Coach of the Year twice, and now he won a Super Bowl. So that's pretty impressive for a guy who retired. But again, you know, people pick Chiefs. I don't think Mahomes is a good quarterback. His own teammates said he looked like trash when they drafted him. Now, the reason he looked so good is because of his natural ability. But he does make some ridiculous throws that, um, you know, he gets a lot of credit for. And it's because of his footwork and stuff like that. He's able to, you know, make plays that when he gets older, he's not going to be able to make. I don't think he has a very good QB awareness, like some of the greats, like Peyton and um, Brady. I just think he's very talented as an athlete, but I don't think he has the mindset and um, gifts that people like Brady does. But either way, I knew, I predicted it in our podcast. I told people all week, I've been telling one of my good friends all year that the Bucs would win. It was either going to be the Steelers or the Bucs. And, you know, I feel like the NFL robbed the Steelers this year, forced them to play all those games in those 12 days. But, you know, injuries happen. Either way, Brady, once they lost to the Chiefs, you know, earlier in the season, after that, they just took off. And they should have beat the Chiefs that game. They just started slow. But after that game, they've been lights out. You know, I am just pissed. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm pissed. What I'm trying to say is at the end of the day, my job is to give you guys facts. And I'm pissed at the media that all they try to do is they try to create viewership. So they'll spew incorrect stuff. They'll try to get people hump, hyped in the hump. They'll try to get people hyped for a big game. And they'll try to make it seem like it's going to go a different way. Because they, you know, at the end of the day, they're paid to get viewership. That's not my job. My job is to tell you the truth, even when you think I'm crazy. I'm going to bring facts. I'm not, you know, and people will down me. Like my friend downed me all year when I said Brady would win. But at the end of the day, I'm always right. Or majority of the time, I'm right. When it comes to big games, I'm right. You know, congrats, Brady. You are the GOAT. Again, congrats, Bucks. Um, I still don't know why people thought this would be a close game. I still don't know why people thought the Chiefs would win. Chiefs had ha- The Chiefs have not played great during the end of the year. They had that one big win last week. But if you look at the last several games, they've been very close. If you look at stats that matter they will tell you that the Chiefs were not as dominant as people thought they were. You know, yeah, they have Tyreek, who's great, but sometimes during big games, they don't show up. You know, it's great to have those three touchdown games during a regular season, but in the playoffs, when they need you, you got to step up. And the Chiefs, you know, they don't have good defense. So I don't know why people thought, besides the Honey Badger, who I really respect, I think he's great. And also, they have that guy, I think, from, um, I think he was from Seattle, maybe? I forget, but they also have another... Guy in the line that's pretty good in defense, but overall they're not a great defense. So Super Bowl, you need a good defense if you're going to beat Brady. The Giants show that twice. You know they had a very good defense, and Eli was just a big game playoff QB. All right, I think that's it for my recap. You know I hope we'll do some more. I hope Mike will join me in the future so we can actually debate each other and talk about these things. But that's the premise. This is not the next episode of the podcast. This is just me venting and just talking about what I read after the game. Again, I didn't watch the game because I didn't have to watch the game. I knew how it was going to play out. I kept texting my friend, how is this game close? Because you know, for a while it was very close and it just surprised me. I thought you know, it would be a blowout, and at the end of the day it was a blowout. So I'm happy that it finished to be a blowout. It looked like um, the Bucks did make a mistake from what I can tell. Brady should have rushed. You know, he's the, one, he's the greatest. QB sneaker of all time. I don't know how the hell he does it. I mean, I know how he does it. He just, he's really smart. But um, I think it was fourth, fourth and one inch, whatever it was, I didn't see it. But um, they didn't give him the ball. And they gave it to the other running back when they should have given to either Brady or um, Fournette. Congrats, Fournette. Another guy who um, was dropped from his team and now is a Super Bowl winner. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed my rant. Um, stay tuned. And I, I hope... We'll bring some good content, some, um, and I hope I can tell you guys more of what I think, so I can educate the masses out there of um, what I think is going to happen during big games. Again, we're not the media. We're not going to give you BS. We're not going to try to hype you up about certain matchups. I'm just going to give you guys facts, whether you guys like them or not. But at the end of the day, majority of the time, I think I'll be right.
All right. Have a good evening. Bye.